Alright, so you might have seen the new AI videos going around using Sora 2 on your TikToks and on your YouTube shorts. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this automatically using N8N. And this is something that you can have running on a schedule every single day at the same time to automatically create videos and then automatically upload them to your YouTube or to your TikTok. In this example, I'm just going to show you uploading them to YouTube. But the same can be done with TikTok. And if you want a video on that, leave a comment down below and I'll make one. So here's an example of what they might look like. Like this is an entirely AI generated video. He has another example here. Yeah, this is 742 East Alder. Smoke coming out of the upstairs window. I'm going in. Oh, You're right, man. Uh. So, as you can see, they look really realistic. And as well, this doesn't have a, a Sora watermark, which a lot of them do. Um, it completely gets rid of that. And it also just makes very realistic camera, uh, like security camera footage or body camera footage depending on how you want to word your prompt to make um so i'll show you exactly how to make this right now so just for the sake of this video um i've created it using a manual trigger um but you can create this on a schedule trigger all you need to do is go here type in schedule oh if you can type type in schedule trigger I set this to run daily and then set it to run at whatever time you want and it'll automatically run and upload the video at whatever time you set it to run at but for this video, I'm just going to run on a manual trigger. Um, the first thing you want to create is an AI agent module. So you just want to go into this, this plus AI agent and drag it in. And then inside of this module, what you want to add is you want to change define below. And then this is what like the prompt that you're going to be giving it. But for this, all we're going to run is just generate a prompt like this. Um, because the main bulk of what's going to happen is going to be done through the system message so you're going to want to put uh, add option and then click system message and then get rid of this and i'll show you exactly what you need to put into there so as you can see up here um this is my system message so i'll go into it and make it big for you this is the system message that i've got if you want um i'm not going to put this in the description because it's going to be massive so what you can do is you can just take a screenshot of your screen right now if you're on a phone just screenshot it if you're on computer just get use like the snipping tool or whatever like whatever tool you can to take a picture of the screen um and then put this into chat gpt and just ask it to tell you what it says in the in the picture and then it'll give you all the text so you can just copy and paste it into your into your n8n all this does essentially is it just says like you need to create uh you're, you're an ai short form uh, video prompt idea creator your, your output must always follow this json which this is the json and this is just making it easier for us later on down the line to, to use this information later um so it's going to give her a title going to give her a description it's also going to give her a prompt that we're going to give to sora too so we we'll define some rules here for um just giving it some generic rules that i might need um what you might want to change is that for the prompt you can change this so that it, like, you can have different types of cameras if you want and um, if you want like vlog style you can change this um for the most part i would keep this the same unless you want to change exactly what type of video it is for the actual ideas that it's going to generate you just have to give it some a list of ideas here which i just got a uh, chat gpt to create this list and um, you can do the exact same or you can copy these or you can copy them and then ask chat gpt to give you more ideas um, and then just add your own and then that's literally all you need for the system prompt uh, system message sorry and um, what you do want to do though is take the required specific output format take that and um, but I'll, I'll show you what we need to do with that in a second the next thing we need to do with ai agent once we've created it is to add a model um, and for this we're going to use anthropic because the uh, cloud 4.5 is very very good so we're going to do that but what you're going to need to do when you first do this is you're going to actually have uh, credentials like an API key so what you're going to want to do is click this top box click create new credential and um, it's going to ask you for an API key um, to get this all you need to do is click the open docs button and then um, click on the API keys there it'll take you to your API keys I'm going to like blur this out so you can't see it but this is where you're going to have an API key uh, where, where you're going to get your API key you want to click create key and then type in a name and then it'll give you a key the copy and paste into this box here very very simple stuff once we've done that we're going to add some simple memory um we're just going to get rid of uh, change this connected chat trigger mode to define below just give it a key which is just some numbers give it some random numbers let's go like that and then we're going to change the uh, context window length to let's say 10 um just so we can remember 10 like previous runs and um, what we're also going to do is we're going to add a think tool so we're going to click the plus on the tool type in think boom and then just uh, leave that how it is like that because we have well we haven't done it on this module but we'll take the 
uh, require specific output. Let me just copy the uh, prompt in there so we'll have it over on the other one. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Boom. Um, but since we've picked that, we're going to have a uh, output parser here. Click the plus on the output parser. Click structured output parser here. And then this is where we're going to put the JSON to, to like out, uh, structure the output so that we can uh, better use it. So and I'll show you exactly what I've got here. Again, I'm not going to um, put this in the description. So just take a screenshot of the screen and then you can uh, copy and paste that into your uh, system parser. Structured output parser, sorry. So yeah, take a screenshot of the screen right now. I think you can see it all on the screen. Yeah, you can. And then just put that into your uh, structured output parser JSON example. Boom, so we've got that. Now, that is the whole sort of creating of a video, uh, the creating of the prompt for the video, sorry, done. This is going to basically create the prompt for the video, get it ready to um, give it to the Sora AI. Um, I'm going to cut off this just so it doesn't run the whole thing. And then I'm going to just going to run it to show you what it outputs. It takes a few seconds because it needs to speak to the AI. AI. Then once it's done, it'll output a, um, a title title a description and then a prompt this is the prompt that you give to sora too and uber to drive uber driver's split second decision saves a life so yeah that sounds like a very very viral uh title idea now that we've got the video idea generated we need to actually generate the video right so the way that we're going to do this is using something called key ai so if you go to key.ai slash market, you'll be able to see all the different models. We're going to use Sora 2, so I've just typed it into the search bar there and just click on it. Um, what we're then going to do is we're going to then click the API button right here. This is just going to um, be able to give with a curl that we need to use to, to create the module in, in NAN. So if you scroll down until you see the request example, click copy on the curl, uh, go back to your NAN workflow. We're going to add a HTTP request import curl paste it in there and then press import now there's a few things that we do need to change with this um as you can see we don't have an api key here but what we're actually going to do is we're going to get rid of the send headers and then we're going to go to authentication click generic authentication type click uh bearer auth no we're not we're going to click header off sorry and then i've already got the account created here the uh, auth but what you want to do is you want to type in uh, click create new credential type in authorization like this with a capital a make sure it's the american spelling um, and then you want to paste your key into here but you want to paste it in a certain way so i'll show you how to do that first of all but let's get the key so you want to go on to key ai get your api key and um, create create new key give it a name just go over the video now we have the key here I'm, I'm showing you on the screen but i'm not going to be using this key for anything i'm just going to delete it after i've recorded this video so once you've typed in authorization here we we'll then need to give it the actual key um but the way that we do this is so next after we've typed in the name we need to actually get the api key so you want to go to key.ai slash get uh, api key and then this will take you to where all the api keys are if you're not uh, make sure you sign in create an account and sign in stuff like that then you want to click create api key here give it a name and then just click create and it'll give you a key to copy and paste into it and then what you want to do is you want to go into the value bit you want to type in uh wait i'll go like this so you can actually see what i'm typing bearer and then click uh like paste your paste your key into there make sure there's a space in between bearer make sure it's got a capital b just spell it exactly how i have and then just paste your key into there and then you'll have like uh authentication like all set up so I'm going to close that without saving it just to make sure I don't uh, mess my stuff up. And then what you want to do also is we're going to then go into the JSON here. And then we're going to change a few things around just to make sure it fits our, our um, what we're doing. So for the prompt, you just want to get rid of all that. Get, keep the quotes, but, but get rid of it. And then what we're actually going to do is inside of them quotes, we're going to drag in the prompt from over here. So from the structured output, uh, where it is the, the prompt and then description, drag that in to the prompt there. And then because we're creating shorts, we want to change this from landscape to portrait. And then make sure we have remove water, watermark on true as well. Just, just This just gets rid of the Sora 2 watermark. So once that's all done, once you have everything all set up, you'll have the like the post request to the create task endpoint. You'll have your header auth set up with a header auth account. You'll go down into your JSON and it'll look like this. Make sure it says um, the prompt is the description uh, from the prompt over here. Make sure it's portrait for shorts. If you want to do uh, long form videos, 
it's not really going to do that because this creates 10 second videos so we're going to do shorts with this um, you can there is a way to create long form videos by getting loads of 10 second videos and then linking them all together um, if you want a video on that i can definitely do that but for now we're just going to do shorts so once that's all run you will uh you'll see this kind of uh, output which is going to give you a task id and a record id here and um, we if we go to the key ai logs we'll see that we've just run it here and um, it's still running right now if i refresh the page it might still be running yet so as you can see generally it takes 181 seconds 161 seconds this one seems to be taking a little bit longer than them but that's fine and um, what we then need to do like this is not going to actually what we then need to do is actually get the video so while because this takes a while to run we're going to add a little bit of a wait module here and then we're just going to put this to be safe we'll put like 400 seconds uh just to be extra safe and then after this wait module we need to actually get the video from key ai so i've got a http request here and um, what this does is we get the record info we do it by the doing the same thing as we did on the other one so where we're at the api docs here go to query uh query task here rather than create task and then in the request example just copy this go back to your n8n click import curl paste it in there click import and then there's a few things we need to change again i'm just going to quickly recreate this module just so i can uh, show you what i what i mean so import curl paste it in boom and um, you'll see that the api endpoint is there we're going to again do the uh, generic authentication type header auth make sure your auth account is there it will be if you've just done it before um send query parameters make sure that's ticked with the task id and then the task id is actually going to be the output from the module before um so what i'm going to do i've just messed that up there um is it this one yeah it's this one i'm gonna quickly get rid of that and drag this over here put this on the end of there and then i'll change this weight just to one second just while i'm there uh, explaining how to set it all up and then for the task id i'm just going to quickly run the uh the weight here and then we'll have the output to put in so for the task id get rid of this drag the task id in from here boom like that very simple stuff um get rid of the headers and then that is all we need for that and that is going to get the video as you can see got the video there now that we can see so now we can see in the key ai logs that the uh, state is success for the last run we should be able to go back here rerun the module and then see the actual output so here we can see in the output that its state is success and the result json is there as you can see that's a link to the video and um, we then need to actually download that video so i've got a http request here to download the video it's very simple this module all you need to do click the plus uh, http request make sure it's a get request and then the link is going to be that link to the video so i'll show you exactly what that looks like now so inside here we'll get get request and then we need to put this exact like json thing here because as you can see the url here is not just one url like it's not just a bare url it's got other stuff in there we basically need to pass this output to get the right like link as you can see here is the exact link the result what it'll look like copy and paste this i'll put this in the description because it's tiny um copy and paste that into there and then you'll be able to download then it will download the video so if we click play on that as you can see it's download the video we can click you oh here. no he's going down sir hang on putting it in park hazards okay somebody call I'm trained, I got him. No pulse. Starting compressions. One, one two, three, four. Ambulance is on the way. 31. And you see, this one's a little bit messed up, but that's fine. It's AI. Sometimes it's going to be a little bit funky. Um, but then, all we need to do is then upload this video to YouTube. So, for this, we're going to click the plus on the YouTube module. Uh, YouTube. Boom. And then upload a video. Boom. And then in this, you want to connect it to your YouTube account. So, I've um, done a video on how to connect to YouTube, uh, the Google APIs before. Um, I'll put a card in the top right corner so you can click on it and go straight to that video right now just so you can connect to your YouTube account to it but for this you want to put video upload the title is going to be the title from the uh, the AI agent so boom title region code is just going to be where you're from so mine's United Kingdom category name I just put film and animation doesn't really matter um, whatever you whatever your sort of whatever your prompt is about you can put that in there so let's just put film and animation leave this as data and then you're basically done from this you can then run the the whole script as a whole the whole ai agent as a whole and then it will create the video it'll create the, the prompt for the video create the video and then it will also upload the video straight to youtube 
what I've done just for the sake of these videos um, is I've set this to upload to private um, just by clicking add option uh, privacy uh, where is it it's already got it's already there that's why privacy status set it to private or unlisted and then it gives you a chance to just proofread it like watch over it make sure it's good before you want to put it live just in case because sometimes as you can see with this one sometimes oh no, yeah it does mess up Sir? and make some mistakes so it's good to add that little bit of security in there for you but that is literally it that is all you need to do and then from this if we set this to a schedule trigger every day it'll automatically run create the video and then upload it to youtube for with no input from us no need to do anything from us so it's very very handy and it's very very good so if you enjoyed this video drop a like and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching